I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, oh, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time for another Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon netcast. And I trust you are enjoying your geekiness and your technologies. Yes. We are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Now, let me say that we're back to this week to the webcam and the amazing cat audio microphone that I talked about a few netcasts back uh, because once again I just didn't want to set up all the other equipment I'm lazy what can I say no there's there's actually there's many reasons but one of the most important reasons is the fact that I'm tired and I just don't want to fool with it but I didn't want to miss coming to you and sharing with you the geeky goodness that is the doctor so so right at the top of the netcast let me give you ha, ha, an update on my time warner issue <laughs> for those of you that thought surely dr bill's got it all straightened out by now no no Last week, I had a rant. By the way, official rant start. <laughs> I had a rant about Time Warner and their epic fail when it came to customer service. Well, they are in the competition for the worst all-time customer service you have ever imagined. In our last continuing part of the story, we left off with Time Warner saying that they would be back on Monday after last Saturday's netcast was recorded. They came on Monday of this past week, and guess what they did? The guy came in and looked at the situation and said, Oh, they got on the work order here that you need a new cable from your DVR to the wall. And I'm like, dude, I'm a geek. I've got a whole box of 75 ohm video cables. I don't need a cable. What I need is a multi card for my TiVo and a digital receiver box to receive HD channels. And he goes, Uh, I don't have that. I don't know anything about that. We'll have to reschedule. So I said, okay. So they rescheduled. They said, we'll be out. What did they say they would be out? Thursday? I think Thursday. Yes. And so they came Thursday. And the guy walked in. And he said, uh, multi-card? What's a multi-card? Tuner box? What's a tuner box? <laughs> He said, let me go out to my van and make a call. So he goes out to his van. He makes a call for quite a while, actually. Perhaps they had to explain to him what all this equipment was. And then he came back and said, we hope it'll be in the warehouse. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll reschedule for next Tuesday. So, as of this point, I have an appointment for upcoming Tuesday. So we're talking going on three weeks now of failure. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have contacted a friend of mine who works at Time Warner, totally not in the cable area. He's a network engineer. And I said, is there anything I could do? And he said, don't worry, I'll tell someone what's happening. So, end of rant. part of why I'm tired. I have fought the bureaucracy for so long. <laughs> I'm now kind of just tired of it. Okay, let's go to the blog, shall we? 
the blog is telling us that they are changing Superman's costume. Now, I'm bummed about this. This is all part of the DC Universe reboot. They're going back and, and renumbering all their comic books, starting back with number ones again, as if none of the previous stuff had ever happened, and starting over. And they're making Superman... <sighs> he looks different. Matter of fact, at one point, he's just wearing rolled up jeans and a t-shirt. I'm, I'm really getting to the point that I think comic books have lost it altogether. So I'm a little bit down over that, too. But I will say this, and I'll talk about this a little later. The Green Lantern movie looks awesome. So hopefully DC can redeem themselves a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Okay. Although maybe that whole universe is gone, so who knows. Anyway, next item. Rim. The people that make BlackBerry, they're hurting badly. Their stock price has dropped like a rock. Now, BlackBerry's been the phone for business users for a very, very long time. And actually, I had a BlackBerry Storm before I had my, my beloved Droid X. <laughs> I like it. I actually have it today. How cool is that? Anyway, I had a BlackBerry Storm previous to this. And I liked it pretty well too, but compared to the Droid, it's like it's like an old princess phone from the '60s. You know what I mean? Wow! Some of you remember the old princess phones back in the day; they were pretty cool. Anyway, the point is is that uh, Research in Motion Rim announced their first financial results quarter financial results for fiscal 2012, which we haven't had yet. But anyway, and the outlook isn't pretty. You know how those fiscal years run, you know? It's like at the hospital, our fiscal year runs October to October. So that's how you get into the 2012 year without being in 2012. So maybe they do the same thing. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know anything about those kinds of things. Revenue for Realm was up 16% with earnings per share and net income were down from Q1 2011. The company said it shipped 13.2 million BlackBerry handheld devices and 500,000 BlackBerry Playbook tablets during the most recent quarter. But Rim is having traction, is having traction. They're in traction, no. They're having problems gaining traction in new markets and shipping updated products because their products are lame. Sorry. Just saying. The playbook particularly was a lame. Oh, man, it was bad. Anyway, never mind. I'm not going there. A hundred years of IBM. IBM is celebrating its centennial. Now, that's hard to believe for me because IBM, I mean, back in the day, IBM was the evil empire to beat. And... I was doing Vax computers back in the day, but that was 30 years ago or so. Anyway, IBM is celebrating its 100th anniversary of its founding Thursday of this past week, led by American capitalist icons Thomas J. Watson Sr. and Thomas J. Watson Jr. until the 1970s. The company grew from a pre-World War I conglomeration of companies making tabulating machines and timekeeping devices into a globe-spanning technology behemoth that pioneered the development of electronic computers and dominated the mainframe era. So there you go, 100 years of IBM. Pretty weird. Next item. Can you tell I'm tired? I'm tired. Just not as sparkly today. I'm sorry. Bear with me. BioAir hacked to the tune of 18,000 users' accounts. Dude, BioAir, I mean, come on. You know, uh, Mass Effect, all those cool games come from BioAir, and yet they got hacked. Sony, at least, isn't the only one. First it was Sony, now it's BioAir. Bunches of play. CIA got hacked. I mean, come on. If anybody should understand security and privacy and and keeping things secret, it should be the CIA. Of course, now that I think about it, 
The CIA has a big headquarters in Washington, D.C., and there's this great big sign with an arrow pointing, CIA headquarters. So, okay, maybe they're not as secretive as I thought. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I saw that in Washington, D.C. when I was driving through one day, and I went, what? But anyway. Um, the Green Lantern movie. Next item, the Green Lantern movie starts today. Well, no, it actually started the day I wrote this, which was Friday, yesterday, as I video this. Time, it's just so timey-wimey. To quote the doctor. Who? Not me, the doctor. Doctor Who. Who? Never mind. It's a running gag. Um, the Green Lantern movie. <laughs> I'm really kind of out of it, guys. I'm sorry. The Green Lantern movie starts yesterday, and it will be epic. Yes. And here's what I say about it. You must see this movie. You must. It will radiate green epicness. Yes. JL has always been one of my most favorite superheroes. Man, I'm so looking forward to this movie. It looks like it will be true to the comic book story. The very and very science fiction-y as well. Coolness. I'm quoting myself. You know what I'll be doing this weekend? The Game Master, my son, Benjamin, is stoked as well. In fact, the whole family, including my wife Belinda, is looking forward to this one. But then we're all sci-fi comic book geeks anyway. And so we are. Still, this one looks very, very good to me. In brightest day and blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evils might beware my power. Green lanterns, light. Yes. So go see it. And make it eleven de trillion de billion de dollars so they'll make more of them. Dude. I like Green Lantern. Okay. That's your assignment, by the way, for this weekend. Go see Green Lantern. Just saying. Okay. Next item. LibreOffice 3.3.3 final is out. And 3.4 is out for the adventurous. Now, here's how this works. Open source stuff. The way open source generally works is that they develop and they develop and they develop and then they release kind of a beta version, a, a work in progress version, and they then release also a stable version, one that is, is basically stable and supportable for businesses to use. Okay, So 3.3.3 final is the stable release for businesses that will remain stable and final for the rest of this year. This is how it works. And the 3.4, that is for those of us who are adventurous and just like living on the edge. Know what I mean? Ha <laughs> ha! Geek Software of the Week time. That drummer was telling us it's time for Geek Software of the Week. Geek Software of the Week this week is Anchor Free Hotspot Shield. Now, this software is very cool, and here's why. When you go out with your laptop and you have Wi-Fi and you find a free Wi-Fi connection, let's say at a hotel or maybe a McDonald's, who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of people who are all around you with their laptops going, <laughs> Know what I'm saying? And you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network with no security. So, what the Geek Software of the Week Anchor Free Hotspot Shield does is provide you security, in a nutshell. Okay, here's what they say about it. It ensures you are private, secure, and, an, and anonymous online. Anonymous. Secure your web session. Boy, I'm in a weird mood. Data, online shopping, and personal information online with HTTPS encryption. That's SSL, Secure Socket Layer Encryption. Yes. Uh, protect yourself from identity theft online. Reminds me of that commercial with the, where the, the little skinny guy is trying to get into the house and the two big guys grab him and throw him out. I just suddenly got a flash of that. Anyway. Hide your IP address for your privacy online. Access all content privately without censorship. 
Bypass firewalls. What? Okay. Oh, I guess because it's an encrypted VPN tunnel, you can bypass a firewall through the tunnel and get around ports that may have been blocked. Interesting idea. Hmm. Um, access. I said that. Protect yourself from snoopers at Wi-Fi hotspots, hotels, airports, and corporate offices. Works on wireless and wired connections alike. Provides unlimited bandwidth. See now, I don't think that's exactly right. How does this security tool provide you with unlimited bandwidth? Unless perhaps it's getting around some metering that people might be doing. That's an interesting idea, actually. I don't have unlimited. I, I don't have unlimited. I don't have limited bandwidth. I have unlimited bandwidth. So, and everywhere that I use Wi Fi, so I don't have issues. But that sounds interesting. I'm tired. Okay. Works on the PC, the Mac, including new operating systems. Like Windows 7, Snow Leopard, Lion. The new versions of the operating systems is maybe a better way of saying it. You know, I don't know. I'm just, I think, not only am I tired, I think the people that wrote this write-up might be a little tired. Know what I'm saying? Anyway, a couple of other items of news. I'm out of items on the blog, but I will share some other news with you. That is, that if you watch... Todd Cochran's Geek News Central Saturday Morning Tech Show. Now, here's the thing about this Saturday Morning Tech Show. It's Saturday morning Hawaii time, which means it's noon our time. So it hasn't happened yet as far as me recording this, okay? Even though it's Saturday morning here now as I record this. But I will be a guest on Todd's show this morning, which for me has already passed, but won't be for here for him yet. Time is weird. <laughs> okay. Anyway, and in the current strange spaced out mood I'm in, I don't know how that's going to go, but we'll see. Okay. So, join us for that. Also, in case you haven't ever gone to drbill.cc, D-R-B-I-L-L.cc, I'm sure you have, go there again and do something for me. Like I said last time, please plus one me. Please, please, please plus one me. It's up in the upper right-hand corner. There's a little plus one there. You can click it, and you will have helped me greatly. Please do that. The other thing is, if you scroll down the right-hand side there, you will notice actually several little commercials that you can click on that will be good if you did that. But the main thing I want you to see is the little column there where it says social networking. Dr. Bill's YouTube channel, please subscribe. I've had several people subscribe this week, and I'm very, very happy about that. So that's good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But you can do that, and that will help me. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. I am at D-R-B-I-L-L-B-A-I-L-E-Y, Dr. Bill Bailey, on Twitter. On Facebook, I am also Dr. Bill Bailey there, D-R-B-I-L-L-B-A-I-L-E-Y. And then on LinkedIn, I am D-R-B-I-L-L-B-A-I-L-E-Y-N-E-T is my username there, okay? And then on Vimeo, I'm just Dr. Bill, nice and short. Uh, Dig, I'm also Dr. Bill there. And Blip TV, Dr. Bill TV there. And on VodPod, I am just plain old Dr. Bill, I think, there. So, but this whole list has links where you can link to all these things that you can then join and be a member of things. Like Facebook, you know, if you're on Facebook, you should join the Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon Facebook group. Yes. So there's many opportunities for you. Just saying. I mean, you know, let's all be sociable. Here I am saying let's be sociable, and I'm in kind of a bad mood. But, hey, the thing about being sociable is humans, 
humans, which I are one, a human, sadly. <laughs> you know, what can I say? Uh, we have good days, we have bad days, we have up days, we have kind of near days. And when you have days like this, then you just kind of go with the flow. You know what I'm saying? Do the best you can. So, hopefully, you have learned something. You have gotten a new Geek Software of the Week. And you've heard the rant from the Time Warner thing. Now, here's, here's, here's the thing about Time Warner. When one of these days, when I cut the cord, they'll be out of my hair forever. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really tired. I'm tired of time order. I'm tired of being tired. So there. So remember, until next time, don't forget the Saturday morning check show at geeknewscentral.com. The doctor, boy, is this ever true, is out of here.